We told you earlier this week how highly caffeinated energy drinks are risky for children with heart abnormalities. So as adults, do we need to be concerned about how much caffeine we are consuming? KCRG TV 9's Ashley Hinson tells us more about the role that caffeine kick plays in our lives and our health in today's Healthy Life Report. Well, whether it be coffee, tea, or an energy drink, many of you probably rely on caffeine to wake you up and keep you up. But how much of the stuff is too much for your body and, more importantly, for your heart? Caffeine. It's a huge part of why millions of Americans reach for that morning cup of java. Caffeine is a stimulant. That's why we drink it. It's to kind of get up in the morning and get going. The average person consumes between 200 and 300 milligrams of the stimulant a day. That's between two and four cups of brewed coffee. I love it. I mean, I could drink coffee all day long. I have to stop myself because I love coffee. But when you get into drinking more, its impact can be felt on your body and your heart. You can get heart rhythm problems related to caffeine. It does make my heart race. I've dealt with um, anxiety in the past and stuff like that. And so one of the things they always say is you need to limit your caffeine intake. Too much caffeine can be bad for your body. Check out this list. In addition to insomnia and anxiety, too much caffeine can cause your heart to beat too fast or not how it's supposed to. But the real risk comes from not being able to come down from the caffeine buzz. But it's the sleep depri deprivation that may occur as a result of too much caffeine. We're not catching up to the sleep that we need in order to kind of repair our bodies to go on with the next day. And not being able to repair your body puts extra stress on your heart. And while it's easy to drink enough to keep you up at night, the good news here is that it's really tough to drink so much caffeine that it would kill you. A lot more than just a pot of coffee. So in order to consume enough caffeine where your heart would actually start shutting down, you'd have to drink between 80 and 100 cups of coffee in one sitting. That's the equivalent of about five gallons of coffee. And while that may seem unreasonable, doctors still say keeping your cool when it comes to caffeine consumption is the best way to go. A little bit is okay, moderation is okay, but too much as a stimulant, we can get jittery. Uh, we can get anxious. I love my coffee. I love especially like the um, Sumatras and stuff like that. So I'm um, just trying to keep it in moderation. And depending on your age, your body mass, even your gender, caffeine may affect you differently. Also, people who don't regularly consume caffeine tend to be more sensitive to its negative effects. Some other things to keep in mind if maybe you're trying to avoid hidden caffeine. It also appears in chocolate and some over-the-counter pain relievers. That's today's Healthy Life Report. There's more online at KCRG.com.